Good afternoon, welcome to Treasures and Adventures. My name is Lisa and today I bought an abandoned storage unit. Let's go see what we can find. I don't know why, but these storage units are always spooky. Anyways, this is the one I bought. I paid way more than I wanted to. $130. Um, the reason I bought this was because it was inside. And that box may have some jewelry, I'm not sure. But let's get into it and see what we got. This air mattress would be great for the homeless. Every time I've bought one with an air mattress on top or some kind of a mattress on top, I've done really well. I do believe this is a new air mattress too. The tag's still on it. Okay, I am seeing some food in pictures, so let's get into this, see what we got. Mom ever. Conditioner. Barnes Beer. Craft Beer Festival. Nice shirts. Not my style, but nice. Alright, if I come across something significant, I'll show you. An old cell phone. Holy Bible. Always check them for money. Another cell phone. Looks like maybe a burner. A dryer. Those always sell. Looks like a little bit of costume jewelry. Old dolphin earring might be silver if I can find the other one. Wireless headphones, but they're not in there. And lots of heavy duty drugs in here. Coconut rose oil. So far, this unit is not looking too good. Now we're talking Mickey. Walt Disney. Some DVDs, it's in there. Troy. I think it's missing one. Road Rage. It's in there. Oh, this is a little microchip. It might work in my uh, GoPro. Blockbuster, super bad. And it's in there. Some really nasty purses, and I'm afraid to stick my hands in there. And here's another bad thing about buying online. I can smell cigarettes, and that's not good. And this is purses done anyway. Another purse. This one's not too bad. I could probably clean this one up and sell it. In a yard sale, maybe. Or maybe I'll just donate it. It's a 9 West. Come on, Donna. Leave some money in there for me. Nope. And a picture. That's something right there, Philadelphia Eagles. Asper cream warning. I might need that later today. <laughs> so here's how I do it. This bin here is going to be probably mostly yard sale stuff unless there's something in, that's worth money in there. This is all trash. That's donation. This I need to go through. And this is important papers that need to go back to them. 
So that's how I do it. I separate it all before I bring it out. And Scott, Scott is a good brand. If I can get this clean, this will sell. I'm not sure what this is. Something that hangs on the wall. Donation. Always check shoes. There might be money hidden. Here's the thing. You never have to buy soap when you do storage units. And believe it or not, I'm out of soap right now. Good old Rubik's Cube. That'll sell. It looks like Lucy has a new dog caught a leash. It's a nice one, too. Seeing some more jewelry. I think this is a speaker and it's coming on, so that's good. Come on, unit. It's a laptop case with nothing in it. But it's still a nice one. That'll sell. And I see a jewelry box. I just hope there's something in it to save me. Perfume sells really good. This will probably get me not half of my money back but almost half so that's good okay we have a jewelry box come on baby not real probably not real it's still nice an earring probably not real and a penny so far. Let's see what else we got. Hopefully. That might be silver. Maybe. Looks like costume jewelry, mostly. Ooh. I have to check this one when I get home. Yeah, gum. I don't think anything in here is real. More costume jewelry. And nothing in the last one. So not so great. Go away, we don't want any. I should put that on my front door. Tools are always good. Nothing. Or do I need those? A Barack Obama million dollar bill. Too bad I can't spend that. I wonder if that's a baby shirt or a dog shirt. Pets first. That's for a dog. I guess my little Jazz will be sporting a Tampa Bay Rays top. Very cool. I'm getting the picture that somebody had a bad back because this is a TENS machine. Called a bear claw. Wonder if that's a back scratcher. I bet you it is because oh, that's really cool. I like that. Clean that up. Gers yuck. Gross. You know, sometimes I don't even know why people store stuff. 
and waste their money when it's just junk. The Smash I rule though, whatever that is. Finally, some halfway decent shoes. Yard sale stuff, it looks like. Alright, that's better. More jewelry. Okay, there's the third cell phone. Interesting. Fourth cell phone. I'm thinking this was a bedside drawer and then there's a ring in here. I don't think it's real, but we'll look at it. It might be silver. Hello, view. Here's something. It says Doug Williams Ring of Honor commemorative coin from Raymond James Stadium. Atlanta versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So that's pretty cool. I don't think it's gold or anything. But it's still pretty cool. A nice brand new hammer. That's pretty cool. Socket. I must say that this is the dirtiest unit I have ever bought. Well, there was one one worse, but I still made fifty dollars on that one. This one I'll be lucky if I'm if I break even. If that one ring is gold, which I think it might be, I might have some good profit, but other than that, there's really nothing here. This unit was full of drugs and right here is a crack pipe. It's so sad that people have to do that. Okay, there it is, all cleaned out. And you always want to document that so you can make sure you get your deposit back. However, with this company, they don't charge me a deposit. So, but I just like to make sure I document it. So now I'm going up to the office to uh, drop off the personals, the pictures, if they want them. Um, that's what you're supposed to do, so... We'll see if they want them. If they don't, I'll just throw them out because they're not worth anything. Um, they're in pretty bad shape. So, anyways, that's it. This wasn't the greatest unit I've ever bought, but I'll make a little more than what I paid. And unless that ring is gold, which it does say 14k, but there's there's a D on there, so I'm not sure what that D means. If that means plated or what, so I got to research it more. It might be silver. Okay, so on this unit, I didn't do so well. Um, the people that, that had this unit, um, they had been arrested for doing drugs and DUI after DUI and just a lot of sad, sad things in life. Um, but uh, I, I probably will break even. That's about the best I'll do. Um, I did find some jewelry here. Um, some. I believe some of it's silver. Um, this ring right here is 18 karat electro gold plated. Um, I don't believe those are gold. I haven't tested them yet. But mostly just costume jewelry. Maybe $10 worth of stuff of that. This thermometer is worth $25. It's selling on eBay. This little coin here is like $7.95. Same with this. I found a few tools, this back scratcher, these little adapters, and one, two, three, four, five, six cell phones, and some kind of a nook, and then these earphones here, and a bunch of clothes that you can see throughout here. But overall, um, I'll put oh, in this perfume here worth 20. So I'll probably break even with that. Um, but it's very sad and unfortunate that they were hooked on drugs. And um, in my description, I'm gonna leave a link if you are having those problems where you can go to get some help. So that's, that's all I found in this unit, not so great.
Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, you know, if I had thought about it, you know, when I used to go to the, the live auctions, the live storage auctions, I would always look up the name first of the person and see what kind of a person they were. And I forgot to do that. I'm out of practice and it probably cost me a little bit of money, but you know, that's okay. You can't win them all. But, um, the saddest thing is, you know, the fact that they were using drugs and that they were getting DUI after DUI, you know, arrested for, for, uh, you know, uh, cocaine and methamphetamines. And I must have found 60 bottles of, you know, medications, heavy duty painkillers. So if you do have a problem with this, um, please look in my description and I'll have a link to where you can get some help because please know that you are worth more than this. So I appreciate you watching. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And until next time, don't forget to get outside and live. Thank you.